Your schedule is even more erratic than mine. I'm a vampire of my word. Uh, two liters of orange soda and a pack of cookies. I hope you like chocolate chip. I got a box of vanilla wafers. In case you didn't like the, um... <clears throat> anyway, could I convince you to make a second donation? I promise I won't take as much. Seriously, last time was... Mm, crisis aversion. <sighs> Think of this as, like, topping up the tank. What do you say? <sighs> no. This time you get actual orange juice and a muffin. Juice and a muffin. <laughs> Don't pout. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. I should have asked you last time, but I was in a tight spot. Mm -mm. My problem, not yours. Now, <clears throat> are you under the influence of any alcohol? Perfect. And have you eaten in the last four hours? No. Pop-Tarts, Hot Pockets, and Easy Mac don't count. <laughs> This from someone who thought I was in the black market and followed me on the promise of soda and cookies. Alright, that's all I needed to know. I told you, I only need to top up this time. Earlobes feel less sensitive and bleed freely. We're going to look like a regular couple getting a little bit frisky. Don't worry. Huh? That's it. Just hold on to me. Stay still while I get some gauze on that. How are you feeling? No dizziness? Sparkles in your vision? <laughs> You're looking a little flushed. Should I be concerned? <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Yeah, you're fine. Come on, I promised you juice and a muffin. There's a late night coffee shop two blocks over. You walk this way, what, three, four times a week? And you've never noticed? No, I got it. If you're that desperate to hold something, there's always my hand. The offer still stands. No, you don't get coffee. You've already ingested too much caffeine. Keep that up. It's going to be pulpy orange juice and a bran muffin. 